Uh, hi, it's Superboo. Um, this is a video uh, about making this uh, this dragon um, in Blender from scratch. So this is the final um, model at the moment. I might do some final touches later. But let's see how we got from this piece of concept art on the left into this model on the right. So like my other projects, I make these models based on existing concept art or at least a draft idea. In the case of this one, I had concept art already available, so I just um, traced pretty much with a standard cube and uh, extruded it until I got the generic shape that I wanted. Um, after applying the... like... Uh, rough shape over the drawing. I would then do a subsurface modifier um, and then continue with refining the mesh by extruding parts to make the legs, the necks, the tails, um, things like that. There are other ways you can um, do this kind of tracing. You can take a, a, a mesh of any kind really, like a cube or a plane, and delete all but one vertices and then go into the modifier tab and if you put a skin modifier on it acts like um, applying a mesh like in this example that I've been doing um, so <laughs> it's kind of a cheaty way to do it but it's it's very quick and when it comes to um, doing meshes you want to do things as quick as possible so that you can work on details later so um, yeah so if you hit shift and A you can uh, resize each of the vertices to make them thicker or thinner so again it just kind of speeds up the process a bit um, so enough of me blabbing on I'll just let the video continue now um, at full speed
I this is uh, the end of the video now so um, yeah the dragon has been changed quite a lot since the start of the video process um, as you can see there's more characters involved as well so uh, I'm not going to get too into um, the, the the build of these characters so we're just gonna hide <laughs> hide them for now um, so this is the male version of the same dragon that I built it's uh, got additional things on it as well like uh, this saddle and, uh, and helmet so I can hide those <laughs> the pose is a bit janky on him so we'll just do that which is a little bit similar to how he looked uh, as I was building um, so yeah this is the final rig of the dragon um, I changed it from the build that I made uh, originally so I have improved it by making it have um, oh gosh what was it uh, it was IK physics I think it was called inverse kinetics rather than FK and that basically just means the poses are a lot more better like they're controlled by uh, these these uh, control bones rather than me moving each bone ind individually so if I go here normally I would move each bone like like this you know well it's not going to let me do it because I've got it with uh, IK physics but the neck should work so I'd move it just like this each bone independently and that takes quite a while plus uh, I make the mistake of not having very uh, natural looking movement that way whereas having IK physics or uh, as you can see here it can help me anchor the feet to the ground so I don't have the dragon really floating I mean he's gonna float a little bit because I put the ground too too low but yeah the uh, I didn't record the original rigging um, and weight painting of this model because I knew I was going to change it. Um, I just wanted to get a quick build build done um, for the purpose of the video. So I just whipped up that quick rig and then thought right I'll come back to it later and uh, improve it which I have done. So just back legs a little bit longer but that's so that I could get that um, style of the bent legs nice but then that's where his foot can go and then once this is in place um, I can start turning some bones but not all of them so you see I can turn that bone in um, and that bone won't turn anymore because it follows the uh, the bone here so I have to turn this one to turn there and uh, and so on and so forth so yeah this is just a quick example now what I really like and I'm probably gonna mess this up because it's just my luck is the IK allows me to do the wings a lot better than before whereas before I was having to think how is this gonna fold how am I gonna make it naturally fold um, the arms are connected to the shoulder so if I zoom in here this bone may be floating but it's actually parented to the shoulder bone here it just has a, an offset so when these uh, these limbs move the uh, the wings also move because they follow the shoulder but obviously the position I've done there is not particularly fantastic but you can see as I bring this arm down that the wing is also moving and this way we get a natural uh, movement from the uh, the wing as the creature walks so, and then obviously I still have to turn these manually but that's fine because the real hard part was figuring out how to make the um, the arm actually move this isn't a real creature and I can't reference much except for bats so I'm not gonna play around with this too much I'm just showing an example that you know this this thing is fully rigged and uh, just close that jaw well actually no that jaw bone is there 
I've done that wrong. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, this is uh, the final um, rig. It's got IK um, rigging and wound up with this walk cycle, which It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than the original walk cycle that I did. And uh, as he's walking, we'll put the saddle back on. Now the saddle is a completely independent object, so if I hide the dragon, I can hide his eyes as well. You can see these are completely independent objects, just like the inside membranes are for the wings. So, yeah, there's still some rigging I need to do uh, tweak wise on the saddle, but because the wings are so huge, um, they tend to hide a lot of the errors at the moment. And then uh, we have the character who sits on top as well. So, but yeah, this was the uh, the exact same dragon. It just has a new rig, and I can open up the old rig because I still have it. I find the uh, creatures file. So this is the original one. Um, as you can see, there's two dragons in this because I did two. I did both the uh, the male one and the female one, but the texture for the female one is not the one that it should be. I need to just quickly fix that. Um, there we go. And the wings need fixing as well. They need to be so yeah, we got the two different dragons, and these are uh, rigged with the old system. So when I go into this mode, there's no poses in place, so you'll see I have to move all the bones independently. And I've got it set to mirror, so that's not probably what I want to do. So yeah, I have to position these all individually to, uh, to animate them. Whereas with the IK one, um, I just use the control bone, whereas with this I have to do each one by one. And it's very time consuming and also um, isn't particularly accurate either. I mean, the way I've folded these wings, um, they don't look too bad, but compared to the other one, it doesn't look quite as nice. So, uh, yeah, there's a few final touches I need to do to the model itself. Um, I want to put a bump map on them with scales because they look a little bit flat at the moment. Um, and also when I go back to the original file I was just on, and we'll uh, do this. We have these areas where it looks like pieces are missing and that's because I need to put some armor here. It's going to be black, just like this face plate armor is. So if I go here, got the face plate armor. Uh, it's all linked up with these straps around the horns and that little uh, nub on the head and across here. And this is uh, this area is where shoulder blades are going to be covered by armor and. I was originally going to do some for the neck, but I don't think it really needs it because it's uh, if I move the head, it will have position. Well, where's the positioning? No, there we go. If I move this neck, it uh, it already gets some level of uh, protection from the. Um, the back of the saddle, plus we also have this additional spike on the neck, which um, 
I'd have to, you know, the spikes on the neck, which fit underneath the saddle, but um, that's just more more hassle than it's worth doing these holes because uh, you have to think about how will this actually sit on the animal. So that's why we have um, the the mask goes so far up and then it just suddenly stops around the horns because uh, how would you put this on this animal? So that's why I thought maybe leave these uh, ridges exposed as well because that's technically armor plating above the eyebrow it doesn't need more armor um, on there so yeah this is the uh, the final model and if I just quickly yeah we're in cycles render I click this this is how it renders um, using cycles um, it uses basically a type of ray tracing um, I would hit play on the animation but because my computer doesn't have native ray tracing graphics cards it's very slow um, if I press play you can see the skeletons moving but the model isn't moving because it takes too long it has to render every single frame so yeah that's uh that's the end of this video. Um, if you want to see a more detailed video about how I do things like the weight painting and um, texturing, um, there's a video I did based on a Triceratops like cartoony character that should uh, cover you for those those types of things. Uh, but other than that, I will end the video here, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra!